Welcome to Mrs. Anderson's Nutrition and the next episode of the Nutrition Through the Ages series. In this video, we will look at nutrition needs for adolescents, ages 9 through 18. Adolescence marks the transition into adulthood with intense physical and psychological change. Hormones flood the bloodstream, which ultimately increase height, weight, body shape, and musculature, and all of this requires adequate nutrition. And as adolescence is also categorized by heavily influenced individuality and independence, this stage of life often solidifies food preferences in response to a number of factors. As food choices become part of a teen's own responsibility, and when all of these factors are considered, it is common for cheap convenience foods or foods on the go to be the norm. Fruits, veggies, and whole grains are often missed by this age group, and this is also when eating behaviors can shift toward the unhealthy. As mentioned before, disordered eating does not always begin at this stage but it can often become embedded in daily habits with this age group. Disordered eating and body image concerns affect both boys and girls, and in an upcoming special edition post, we'll discuss this topic more in depth, but for now, let's look at common warning signs and symptoms. This list is by no means exhaustive, and symptoms and warning signs largely depend on the individual as well as the type of eating disorder. If you recognize any of these behaviors, either in yourself or someone you know, nutrition counseling and therapy is available for support. Finding a healthy, non-adversarial relationship with food can feel difficult and intimidating, and it can be harder with time. You'll find a link in the description below for some help and more information. Nutritional need is largely dependent on activity level, and nutrition is integral to athletic performance. However, high school athletes often underfuel or commit to unhealthy eating habits based on supposed sport norms and peer misinformation. And this can leave young adults susceptible to injury, burnout, long recovery, and potentially incapable of performing at high levels. So here are some tips. Fuel properly. Eat if you want to compete. This means eating intentionally to fuel practices and competition. Although main meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner are important, so are snacks before and after practice and competition. Two, choose foods wisely. A balanced and varied diet gives individuals the best shot they have at fueling their body with essential nutrients. Three, include all the colors. When building meals and snacks, remember to select fruits, veggies, and whole grains of different colors. Eating a rainbow supports a diverse nutrient intake. Four, hydration is just as important as eating. Not only do you need fluids to help with digestion and body temperature, it is absolutely essential that fluid loss via sweat and yelling is replaced. Five, snack. Keep a range of satisfying snacks in lockers, backpacks, cars, etc. And six, skip the supplements, especially anything hormone related. Bone density is the amount of bone mineral found in bone tissue. It can determine overall bone strength and susceptibility to fractures and breaks and bone disease later in life. Adolescence is a critical window for bone building as peak bone mass is largely complete by late adolescence. Nutrition and physical activity are key. Adequate calcium and vitamin D decrease risk of early bone loss and fractures, and weight-bearing activities are essential for bone building. Adolescents are at risk for the same chronic diseases faced by adults. Chronic diseases are largely preventable. Establishing healthy behaviors around nutrition, including eating a variety of fruits, veggies, and whole grains, and including regular physical activity is key to maintaining long-lasting health. Adequate fiber is often lacking in this age group, and fiber is instrumental for our gut health and health in general. Fiber does a couple things depending on the type. Soluble fiber dissolves in water, and this means it slows our digestion, allowing nutrients to be absorbed. Insoluble fiber can't be digested, so it scrubs our insides as it works its way through. This keeps bits of food from getting stuck in any nooks and crannies, and it keeps our good bacteria happy and healthy as it provides them nourishment. Let's take a quick look at the macronutrients for this age group. As you can see, macronutrient needs are the same as adults. 
Remember that carbs are the brain's primary source of fuel and that low carb diets are not suggested for adolescents. Fats are needed to support brain development and also to absorb vitamins A, D, E, and K. And then protein is needed for proper growth and development. Okay, now let's take a look at our micronutrient needs in this age group. Vitamin A is needed to support growth and development. A balanced and varied diet typically satisfies this need. However, this age group often does not meet the vitamin's needs through their diet alone. As mentioned earlier, vitamin D and calcium are needed for bone growth, which is essential at this stage since we all depend on the bone built during this time throughout the rest of our lives. And then iron is needed for growth and development, and females do need to be aware of iron loss through menstruation. And that about does it. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and have a great day.